Hi folks, Travis Fox here with FoxOptic.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a one-shot zero on uh, ATN's Thor 4 uh, thermal night vision sight. Um, I say night vision, you can actually use them night or day, but um, primarily they're being used at night to hunt pigs or coyotes, what have you. But uh, let's, let's take a look here. Um, what I'm going to show you here just to start with, I'm hoping you're going to be able to see this. If you can, I'll put it up in the video, but hold the bolt out of the gun. Um, I've got it right here. I looked down through the center of this bore. Uh, what I noticed right off the bat was my bore center was up in the very top right hand corner of my targets. So I knew that was going to give me some trouble. So I went ahead and looked through the bore stationarily pointed at a target area and then I moved my crosshair up there I'm gonna hopefully I'm screen recording that's gonna be able to show you that in the application but I moved that uh, XY coordinate up there in the application It's the same thing you would do inside of the scope uh, just you know in the scope you would use the left right arrows or roll the control uh, and do it in there under the profile setting so um, or the zero setup so I've got it set x33 y minus 18 i'm going to go ahead and tell it yes i want to save the current position and how you do that is once you've adjusted there's a little toggle button here on the screen pretty simple to understand and then essentially just hit the back button on your uh, on your like in the case of this i'm doing it on a pad so i'm going to tell it yes that i want to save that new position and it should have shifted that reticle for me so now I'm in the I'm in the situation where I'm gonna throw the bolt back in it and I'm gonna be able to to take a shot so we're gonna go ahead and take our first shot and kind of see where we're at so here we go I'm gonna shoot into this target up here Okay, and as you can see, I don't know, hopefully you can see that really well. I'm going to hit the recording here. So, I've, I've shot. Hopefully you can see that really well. I forgot to hit the record first. but So, there's our first mark right there. I hit just about straight right of center. That's after my bore sight. So, now what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to line back up to where we wanted to hit. And then I'm going to probably go ahead and zoom up on that so I can get a really good locked relationship. Again, I'm using my tripod to hold everything here. Um, okay, so I've got, that, I've got that lined up inside the scope, and it's uh, still recording in there. But I've got it lined up in there, and now what I'm going to do is go back to the application and try to show you exactly, you know, how to make that finite adjustment. So we're going to come back over here to the pad. For some reason my pad coordinates are not matching what I'm seeing inside the scope. So the reticle inside the scope is about an inch above center, which does not correspond to what I'm seeing on the pad. What I'm seeing on the pad is a different relationship.
Well, so what I'm going to do is the relationship that I've got top to bottom is actually right. So I'm going to go ahead and I am not going to make the elevation adjustment. I'm going to trust what I'm seeing inside the scope. And I'm going to go ahead and move over here to my impact point. Inside the scope, that looks about perfect, so I'm going to go ahead and go with that. I'm not really sure what's going on there, but I've never done this on the pad. Um, you'll see what I'm kind of talking about. I'll explain this when I show it on, on the pad recording. But what I've done now is I've went ahead and I've moved my crosshair over to the bullet impact. Like I say, on this pad recording, it's going to look like I'm a little bit high. But when I'm looking inside the scope, the relationship looks like it's exactly right. So I'm going to go with that. So again, I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button here. It's going to ask me if I want to save the current position. I'm going to tell it yes. So it should have locked that position. We're going to go ahead and put another bullet in it. And let's go down there and see. we're going to shoot one and see what we got. Okay, so we're pretty close. I might have I wasn't steadied up on that very good. We're gonna take another one. I think we're I think we're there. Let's do one more just to kind of get a grouping. Yeah, I think we're right there. We're pretty much all in that one hole. I would probably go ahead and do one more. Uh, small adjust on this which is what I think I'll go ahead and do it looks like I need to come up just a tiny bit and maybe go just a little bit left so I'm gonna come I'm gonna come back to the pad we'll see where it looks like it's pointing in relationship this time yeah, see, it's still just, it's, it's doing its thing. It's just for whatever reason, on the pad, it looks like I'm about maybe a quarter to a half an inch high versus, versus what I'm actually seeing inside the scope. So I'm going to use the pad to go ahead and adjust over a few clicks. I want to be about, I think, right there, and I want to come... up just a tiny bit okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna, that's gonna put me at x44 y minus 19 I'm gonna go ahead and hit my back button again tell it yes to save that and I'm gonna grab a few more shells and shoot a, shoot a group in probably a different spot because I got a feeling that's gonna be really tight this gun shoots really really good and that scopes giving me a good high magnification uh, relationship Put just a few more in here. I want to make sure I got enough for a full four shot group. So, okay, I think that gives me four in there. Uh, actually, I'll go ahead and put one more in there just to make sure the action will move smooth. Okay. Okay, so I think that we've got this thing. It was, you know, again, one shot zero. They, they call it that for a reason. Really easy to, to dial in. Um, I'm going to switch. It's going to take me just a second. I'll be right back with you. We're going to move that camera down so you can see me shoot four shot group. Uh, let me change things up and we'll get that taken care of. Okay, so we're getting ready. We're going to shoot a four shot group down there. I, you know, I'll try to get that together in the footage to where you can understand the process of that. I hope it, I hope it clarifies it for you. If you have any questions, just know you can always give me a call. Um, the pad was kind of goofing on me a little bit there, but it was actually... You know, it's pretty intuitive and easy to understand. I could see that that relationship was a little high on the pad screen. Had I been doing it inside the scope, would have been no issue at all. It must be something with, 
you know, with the application tethering there or something, it's, you know, not really a big deal. I was easily able to overcome it. I think that I'm going to be able to prove that here in the shot groups that I place. That, that's all I did. And I mean, I literally did it from that pad the way I'm showing you. So, you know, it wasn't, the fact that it was an inch, or, or not an inch, but about a half inch over wasn't really a big deal. It's just because I was up here, you know, and the relationship was a little bit different, I just compensated for that. And then as far as the horizontal was concerned, it was perfectly fine. So I've got some bullets in it. Let's uh, let's make sure that we're happy with the way it turned out. I'm going to run a four-shot group here, and we'll see how that works. Okay, so I'm, as we can see, the thing shoots. I mean, there's, there's no doubt about that. So if you have any questions on this product, uh, this again was ATN Store 4. Um, give me a holler, toll free 877-806-2977 or check us out on the web, www.foxoptic.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.